Hey everyone, this is Shooting Illustrated bringing you another episode of iCarry. In today's feature, we're examining the new Kimber KDS9C along with some related gear. Let's take a closer look at this kit. Double stack 1911 style pistols are catching a lot of attention these days. Between the long standing staccato line, custom pistols from Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Custom, and others, as well as new releases like the Springfield Armory Prodigy. Kimber, long known for its 1911 line, has entered the market with its KDS-9C, its own take on the Double Stack 1911. Like others in this line, it offers a host of standard components that have historically been upgrades. Texturing on the front and back strap of the grip, a reversible magazine catch, and an optics cut for the Holosun K-Series footprint comes standard on the KDS-9C. With a 15-round capacity, 4.1-inch barrel, and 25.3-ounce weight, the KDS-9C is more in line, size-wise, with the Glock G19 rather than the G17. A number of the current crop of double-stack 1911-style pistols are on the larger size, using government or commander-size frames and slides as a starting point. While this does give the KDS-9C slightly less capacity, it does make it easier to conceal. Kimber's KDS-9C is a full-featured pistol as well. Cocking serrations fore and aft make administrative functions simple, while attractive G10 stocks offer excellent purchase. There's a slight bevel to the rear of the grip to facilitate better concealment, while corners are rounded and smooth to lessen the chance of catching clothing or the holster on the draw. A large external extractor helps keep things running, while a fluted crown barrel offers excellent accuracy potential. Topping it all off is the crisp, single-action trigger that draws shooters to the 1911 platform. There are plenty of 1911-style offerings available to the concealed carrier, and Kibber has long been one of the first names, after Colt of course, for traditional single-stack handguns. Now the company is expanding its 1911 line to include more capacious models, and promises that slightly extended 18-round magazines will be available shortly. Full of smart upgrades and components to make shooting KDS-9C more enjoyable and productive, it is another excellent option for today's concealed carry practitioner. We've kept things somewhat traditional in the holster selection for today's kit, choosing the Mitch Rosen Quick Detach Holster for the KDS-9C. It's a leather outside the waistband model that, as the name suggests, can be quickly added to or removed from the belt should the occasion require it. The Quick Detach Holster offers a butt forward cant to facilitate a faster draw stroke and is slightly curved to better conform to the wearer's body for greater comfort. This particular holster is available direct from Kimber, as the embossed logo suggests, although standard models can obviously be ordered direct from Mitch Rosin. We're seeing a welcome trend of handgun manufacturers working directly with holster makers to make sure there are options for carrying your new pistol straight from the manufacturer. The quick detach holster from Mitch Rosen can even be ordered for right and left-handed shooters directly from Kimber. Rounding out today's kit for the Kimber KDS-9C is the large vantage pocket knife from Buck Knives. With attractive rosewood inlays in the molded nylon handle, the large vantage is aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. In addition to the rosewood scales, the large vantage features a reversible pocket clip, liner lock, and a three and a quarter inch 420HC drop point blade. Opening the large vantage is accomplished via a flipper mechanism on the back in addition to a thumb hole opening on the blade. I find the flipper mechanism simpler to use, preferring it to even a thumb stud were available. Adding to the appeal of the large vantage is the ability to add engraving direct from Buck. For a very slight upcharge, you can personalize your large vantage with one or two lines of your choosing. While this doesn't make the knife any sharper or anything like that, it adds a custom touch that makes it uniquely yours, which is something we obviously really enjoy, as evidenced by the massive aftermarket for pretty much every major firearm out there. For more information on the items we've chosen for today's kit, and for other guns and gear combinations, please visit shootingillustrated.com. And, as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.